Don't mind the ears, by the way. It's been a while since I've worn my little like cat ears. I don't have anything else to like pin my hair back, which is why these are in. But yeah, hi guys, how are we? So today's video is actually a video that I've already filmed. If you watch my last makeup video in here, which was my Fenty Beauty video, I'll put it on the screen here. Um, I was basically told the same story in that video that I lost my memory card with two or three like fully filmed videos on there, which was just like, so much fun. So we're basically gonna be testing out some products from XX Revolution, which I am so excited about. They actually very kindly sent over a huge, like huge PR package um, of like goodies. So I actually have a lot of products that I'm probably gonna give away as well. I think I'm gonna do the giveaway on my Instagram. So feel free to go over there. I'll probably just do it as a post. My Instagram is at hanxrenee. Obviously I have already tested these products. Um, as I said, I've already filmed this video. But if anything, I feel like it's kind of maybe a blessing in disguise because it gives me a chance to retest them to make sure my first impressions were actually accurate to how I feel about them the second time for you guys. And yeah, I, do you know what? I did really like a lot of the products, so I am excited to film this again. If you do enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I never really ask you guys to do that anymore. Um, but yeah, I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what brands you would like me to test out next. I've already done my brows and primed my eyes, as you can probably tell. So for that, I used the XX Fine. I don't know whether you're supposed to say like XX or just X Fine or just I, like, I have no idea. So we're just going to go with it. Um, this is the brow pencil in the shade. What shade is this? Um, medium brown. Really love this brow pencil. I loved it in the first video when I tested it out as well. It's probably one of my favorite products. It's so smooth. Um, I've not really got a lot of skincare on. I've got a tiny bit of moisturizer on, but a lot of brow pencils tend to really tug on my skin. And I feel like this one just applies really smoothly. It gets the job done really quickly. I like the fact that it has a really fine point. Like the brow pencil is quite fine. I personally prefer that to like a chunky brow pencil. So hands down, like I will be using this again. I really really like it and I still like it the second time which is great and then we're using the concealer in the shade CX 8.5 really like this concealer as well I feel like it gives a good pigmentation it applies really nicely and um, it's quite liquidy which I really like so it doesn't feel too drying on the skin and sets down really really nicely obviously we will use that on the actual face as well but in terms of priming my eyes I feel like it's done a pretty good job and it did a good job of covering my little bit of microblading which I am desperate to get removed if anyone can recommend somewhere in Manchester to get like tattoo like um face tattoos like what would you call them? Semi-permanent tattoo removal. Please let me know because I'm struggling to find somewhere at the minute and it's stressing me out. Honestly, like I got my eyebrows microbladed like three years ago and it's supposed to only last a year or they tell you that it's only gonna last a year and it's still on my face. So that's rude. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start the eyes. So this is the palette that I picked out from everything that they sent over. They did send quite a few little palettes, but to be honest, I only really wanted to keep something that I knew I would get use out of because I feel like I just have so much makeup at the minute. It's actually overwhelming me a little bit. So yeah, this is the palette that I picked out. It's the Expo, X Exposed, <laughs> Exposed, X Exposed, I don't know. It's like a little quad as you can see. So yeah, of course I use this as well, but I'm excited to use it again. This is what the palette looks like. I'm gonna start with this shade here. Um, I do kind of wish that these two shades were a little bit different, a little bit more different in terms of like the deepness and just the color in general. When I first filmed this video and I first filmed this eye look, I, I kind of struggle because these two shades just are really similar and I feel like if you want a really natural everyday palette then you'll probably really really like this but I'm the sort of person I like to have at least one deeper shade in any sort of palette um, especially if it's just like a little travel travel palette I feel like if this shade was a bit darker this would have been like perfect for me we're gonna make do anyway so I'm just gonna pop this in the crease and I am taking it in to my inner corner but I'm probably gonna soften that a little bit in a second anyway it's more so just because I want to make sure that everything is kind of set down in the crease and then I'm just gonna start doing like really small circular motion and kind of just gently wing it out a little bit we don't want to go crazy because we've not really got like 
I'm not really gonna be doing like a really intense eye look today just because obviously we're only limited with what we've got. So I'm just gonna do something kind of soft and natural. If you ever wanna do sort of like a winged look and do like a lifted look with the eyes, like a cat eye look, you can just use shadows um, rather than doing like a full on wing liner and stuff if you want it to be a little bit softer and it'll give the same effect, but just look obviously a lot more natural. And then we're gonna go in with our slightly darker shade. This is a Morphe M503. Um, it's a little bit more of a tapered brush. So as you can see, that is one side, which is more, more of the flat side and then it does taper there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on the brush and I'm pretty much just gonna pat this on the outer corner as you can see there's not a crazy amount of difference in terms of these two shades which as i said is kind of the one thing that i would probably change about it but it does definitely give a little bit of extra depth and like definition so i'm just gonna pop that there and i'm kind of just pressing it first i don't really like to go in straight away and start blending i'd rather just press the shadow down just so that I know I've got like a nice amount of pigmentation there first. I have actually got a bit of a spot there. I think you can see where it's not really blending and I don't know why that is because it was not doing that the other day. Can you see that? There's just like this tiny bit that just won't blend. I have no idea why that spot isn't blending but <laughs> I mean we might just have to leave it at this point because she is not going anywhere. Okay I'm gonna leave it there for now even though it is looking just a little bit choppy, just a little bit choppy. I'm gonna quickly dip into a different palette just because it doesn't have, obviously that quad doesn't have a dark brown. So I'm gonna dip into my Beauty Bay palette. This is the Fiery palette. And I'm just gonna use, I think this like warm brown shade, which is called Mar Maracino, Maracino, <laughs> maybe. Um, but any deep brown shade will do. You could use anything for this. And I'm just going to kind of like line my lash line and do a really small wing. Just to make sure that when we put lashes on, we've got something to conceal them a little bit. So I'm just going to pop that on now. Okay, now that that is on, I'm going to use this shade, which I love this shade so much. It is so beautiful. It's kind of like a foiled eyeshadow. It's really... Um, like buttery and sparkly and metallic and pigmented so I'm actually just going to use this on my finger and I always use my middle finger for this so I always feel really bad that it looks like I'm flipping you guys off I don't know what it is like what is your like favorite finger to like press shadows on mine's always my middle finger I don't know why so yeah I'm just gonna take some of that up you can see there like how pigmented it is and I've done the liner first just so that it's really easy to go over if this covers it up. Otherwise, putting like a chunky shimmery shadow on and then a shadow liner is quite difficult. So, oh, you can see straight away like it is a lot. I mean, if that is not like the prettiest eyeshadow you have ever seen, I don't know what it is because... It is beautiful. And I'm kind of just like pressing it all over. Obviously, I've not done a cut crease or anything like that. But I kind of like that it's just like a wash of shimmer. And you can kind of just see it hit the eye in like different bits of light, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want it to be super neat. I kind of just want it to look really blown out. Honestly, like, I would buy this palette just for that shade alone. If I'm going to be completely honest, like, that is how much I like this color just for like a lid color and stuff. So super easy, really simple. Um, I might just actually take a brush and just kind of like dust off any bits that aren't, we don't quite want there. So anything that's a little bit too high up. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some lashes on. I'm not gonna try and blend that outer corner anymore because I don't wanna like, I feel like sometimes when you try and blend something too much, it ends up just making it worse if you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna pop some lashes on and I feel like the lashes will just pull it together anyway. And then we'll move on to skin. Okay, lashes are on. I'm just wearing Rodeo Drive by Backstage Beauty. Literally my favorite lashes ever. I never wear any other lashes because obviously I don't wear mink lashes anymore. And a lot of my favorite lashes used to be mink lashes, which yeah, I don't like to wear mink lashes anymore. Obviously, I'm cruelty-free as well. So these are by far the best, like, faux mink 
looking lashes i would say that i've come across i absolutely love them okay and then in terms of primer i actually have two and this is the primer that i tested out last time which is the glow fix primer the glow all day primer really like this would definitely recommend it um it's just kind of like a glowy moisturizing feeling cream i would say so i really like that as soon as i've got to film this video again we may as well test out the primer that i didn't use last time so this is the hydro quench primer base i'm pretty sure so they actually sent me two of these and one of them was this color which is this green color and then one of them was pink but they were called the exact same thing so I don't really know like if there's a difference between this and the pink one but definitely sounds like the kind of primer that I would really like. It smells kind of like aloe vera I would say so I'm just gonna take a little bit on oh feels really really cool in oh my gosh that feels good. It reminds me of the primer that I used to love like years and years ago if anyone's watched my channel for like a long time. Does anyone remember like the Galan Galan is that how you pronounce it Galan? <laughs> the brands the kind of like gold primer that I used to use it had like gold flecks in it um it kind of reminds me of that in terms of the feel which I really really love that primer so I'm hoping it's going to be somewhat similar okay and then for foundation this is a little bit frustrating because they sent these two foundations and one of them is basically more of like a mattifying um, like full coverage foundation and then the other one is a glowy foundation um, so obviously I was trying them when I filmed that video I actually did one each side and they looked pretty much the same if I'm honest but obviously like I took the lids off to test them out and then when I went to put the lids back on because basically the one that has like a black lid is the more mattifying full coverage and then the one with this lid was more glowy I didn't know which foundation was which because I'm not even joking the packaging and everything on this unless i am just being the dumbest bitch ever <laughs> the packaging is the exact same like there is nothing on the bottom that says what these foundations are they are literally identical in terms of the bottle and i got the same shade in both as well so i'm 8.5 in both foundations so i have no way of knowing which foundation is which it's actually the most frustrating thing ever a lot of the packaging on this stuff just does not have a name like the concealer again if i'm just being i don't know if i'm just being stupid but it literally does not have a name on it it just has the shade on it and that's it so i don't even know what this concealer is called i'm pretty sure this is the more full coverage one and this is the glowier one but honestly like they look the same so i just would not be able to tell anyway yeah i'm gonna go in with this foundation which i think is the glowier one because the foundation hasn't set down on the lid or like on the pump sorry just gonna pump a bit of this out i think it's gonna be a little bit light so i'm also gonna mix in a tiny bit of the nyx um born to glow foundation which is like a similar style of foundation it's just kind of like a glowy foundation obviously when i filmed this video the first time i knew which foundation was which because it came with whatever lid it was supposed to have on it and if you want to know, I did really both, I did really love both foundations. So kind of just depends on what you want in a foundation, I guess. But yeah, this one is supposed to be kind of more of like a glowy medium coverage, I would say. I'm actually going to use a sponge to press it in because this is how I applied it when I used them last time. And I actually really like this. I never usually use sponges for foundation because I feel like they don't always necessarily give like the best coverage but it actually worked really well. Yeah, do you know what? I feel like this is the glowy foundation because I mean, like that is glowy. <laughs> Lovely. I'm just gonna add a little bit of cream bronzer. Don't actually have one from Revolution. So I'm just gonna use a bit of Too Faced. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit because this is actually quite a dark shade for me. This is toffee. Yeah, you can see like that is pretty dark. So <laughs> this concealer is really nice and I really like the doe foot on the skin, but it's like, it's too big for the container, if that makes sense. So it's really like hard to get out sometimes without making a mess, which is my only complaint. <laughs> just gonna kind of fade it over that cream bronzer a little bit as well, just so that's not too heavy. Okay, and then for powder, I'm just gonna set it down with my Fenty powder because I don't have a powder from XX Revolution and I'm kind of still in the midst of like testing this powder out. So I'm just gonna pop some of that 
on the skin. Oh, do you know what? I miss Vegas so much. I know that is so random, but I really miss being in Vegas with Soph, Steph, Danny, and Helen. Like we just had so, so much fun. Hello up there. My foundation has started to separate a tiny bit on my forehead. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because it's only quite subtle. Okay, so that is the skin now that we've set it down. My forehead's looking a bit strange here, if I'm going to be honest. It probably won't pick up on camera. I don't know if that's because I used a sponge or I mixed it with the NYX one. I'm not really sure. But overall, I feel like it looks pretty good. I don't have a bronzer from XX Revolution, so I'm just going to use some of my Urban Decay um, Beached Bronzer just to set down the outer portions of the skin. Just going to contour my nose. With this as well okay one product that we have got from xx revolution which is probably also one of my favorite products that i tried this is the focus highlighter <laughs> i actually don't have words for this highlighter like it's beautiful so i'm just gonna take some on a fluffy brush and i mean I mean, are you actually joking me? Like, are we actually joking? Do you see that? Someone has got to be pulling my leg here because what? what is that? Like, honestly, what is that? I can't talk about it. I don't have words. I do want to add a little bit of blush. Not that I have a blush from XX Revolution. So I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury one. It's literally the only blush that I have at the office at the minute. So I'm sorry that it's not drugstore, but... We're just gonna have to make do. I've never actually used this blush before because it just doesn't really look like my kind of color. But I feel like no look for me is complete without blush at the minute. I'm just loving a bit of blush. I don't even have words to tell you how much I love this makeup look right now. <laughs> I don't know whether to do my lower lash line. I haven't been doing my lower lash line at the minute and I can't tell if I'm gonna look back on these videos and be like, why did you not do your lower lash line? So I'm probably gonna put like a tiny bit of something on. Does anyone do that? I feel like I look back on old photos or old pictures of myself sometimes or old videos and I'm just like, why did you think that was okay? That was not okay. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the lighter shades, which is this shade on my lower lash line, just very gently. I mean, to be honest, I do actually quite like that, so. I take it back, I do like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do lips. I don't have a product from Revolution, so I'm gonna do those and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I honestly think this might be one of my favorite makeup looks I've ever done. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I really hope you guys like it as well. All in all, top three things I would recommend. The brow pencil, if you're someone who likes brow pencils, I think it's amazing. Um, the palette, if you're someone who likes really natural makeup or you just want like a really beautiful like everyday palette, I feel like this will do that for you. I feel like this is just very like Charlotte Tilbury vibes, like just very wet and glossy looking but still quite natural which i love and the highlighter those will probably be my top three picks i would honestly buy that palette just for the gold shade like i love this gold so much um and yeah the highlighter i just i die i can't get enough of it i love it i would still recommend the other products as well though i think the foundation is great the concealers are great i think everything all in all is really good high quality bit of a pet peeve about the packaging i wish the packaging had a little bit more um effort put into it in terms of like naming everything and things like that but it is what it is um i'm gonna get going anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video as i said please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know what brands you would like me to test down below or what other makeup videos you want to see in general i love you as always and i'll see you in the next one